And just like that, the fourth doll in the Disney Designer Collection has been revealed, and just like the previous three, the reactions are polarizing, but let's break that down. And before we start, I'm Chami, and I like to make toy videos here on my channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Alright, so the fourth doll in the Disney Designer Collection series for the Disney Ultimate Princess Celebration has been revealed, and it is Mulan. So here is the video that is playing on loop on their website. So it just have like really close up views and like really cool fashiony spinny spinny shots of the doll. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to try to slow it down and look at it frame by frame to catch the details as much as we can. Okay, so we have a full body photo here slowly spinning. It's very glittery. And then we have a close up look at her face. I love the makeup very fierce and I love the 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 her iconic comb in the bun and also the two chopsticks I love the earrings they're like beaded kind of earrings or are they sculpted I'm not sure and then we have closer look at the embroidery so this doll seems to be sporting a ton of embroideries so that's pretty cool and I think the patterns are little floral patterns and the cherry blossom flowers and we have her purse as well I wonder if it opens or if it's just like a little sculpted one piece thingy. And we have like a pan view. I love the, the again, the, the door handle detail on her belt as a buckle or on her, on her sash. And she seems to be wearing pants. That's pretty cool. So I think that seems to be about the, ooh, I can also sport some tassels on her earrings. That's pretty cool. So. We're gonna uh, take a look at the full body photo that was revealed by Disney. So the caption says, wait. So the caption says, bold, fearless, and graceful. Bring home the Disney Designer Mulan Limited Edition doll on January 4th. So that is the release date. As of now, I don't know the LE size, but you know, judging from the previous doll, it's gonna be around the 9,000 to 10K kind of range for that. So um, I really love the backdrop and the, the redness of it. So what I was really hoping to also read was, you know, those little quotes from the designers that they put out when the doll is released or near release. I can't remember, but they always come with a quote from the designers about how they were inspired by it and how they came to this direction of the design. So I was really hoping to read that as well, because those are really interesting. And once you read that, you can kind of see the design and it starts to make a little bit more sense than just looking at it. All right, so let's do a little zoomy zoom zoom. She has her bun and there are two hairpin chopsticky thingies that I love. And also her iconic comb with the flower, love that. Again, I, I, I love the earrings and the tassels, so that's pretty cool. And her makeup seems to be very bold and strong. Um, her eye makeup, it's almost has like a harsh line of kind of red going on. It kind of reminds me of Chinese opera makeup around this area. So maybe they're inspired by that. It's pretty cool. And I love her bold, dark red lips as well. And she's staring straight on, so there are no side eyes here. And I know you guys want to hear about the expression, but I'll leave that for last because I have something to say about that. So I'll leave the expression for last. And, you know, really thick, dark brows. And moving on. Uh, her top seems to be like this sheer black little fabric underneath and then she have this red piece that's kind of crisscrossed here. I'm not sure there are two separate pieces or stitched together. And then she has her sashi belt, blue and red, and I can even see a little bit of embroidery on the sash maybe as well, so that's pretty cool. And then she has that gold red buckle handle thingy, and I hope that that's metal. And I, what I really love about is that she is wearing pants. I love that. And I love those pants doesn't go all the way down. I love the fact that they're showing her shoes. So it makes it like a very Chinese pants kind of thing. Those, you know, those baggy ones. And then the pants also have gold embroideries, which looks like a dragon. So maybe that's Mushu. And then she just have Mary Jane shoes with um, a buckle, maybe a strap. Probably a heel. Can't really see it from here. And then this capy thing is actually coming off of her sleeves. So it's black with all these red embroideries. And again, there's so much embroideries here. I'm really loving it. I love the patterns and the gems, 
They also have the cloud details from the beginning of the movie during the title sequence with the ink. So it has that vibe going on with the cherry blossoms. I, I, I'm actually really loving it. <laughs> Let's talk about the expression because that's the, that's the woo factor of this doll. I mean, the design itself is not that much of a shocker because we saw that pin leak earlier. But basically people think including me at first glance thought she looked really angry and i was like why is she angry about but and another thing i want to say that what she's giving me like she's giving me very much hatsumomo vibes from memoirs of regeisha because hatsumomo was also associated with like dark red colors and of course she is has that expression as well and it's just giving me that kind of fierce vibe and um, before I was making, uh, before I was gonna make this reaction video, I really thought about how I felt about her facial expression. But why is she angry? But if you really think of it, it, for one, it suits her because she's literally a warrior. So it kind of has that warrior game face in that kind of sense, if you want to think about it. Even though she's not dressed as a warrior, maybe she still has the spirit and the essence of a warrior. Maybe that's why she looks that bold and harsh and strong. But um, the second thing that I, <laughs> the second thing that I came to the conclusion is that because the facial expression could have been a purposeful, deliberate choice from from the designer to convey a specific message that they wanted to convey through this doll. Maybe that's why she looks the way she looks, you know. So I, I really wanted to read that. But before I can see that, the conclusion I came up with that is she looks that fierce and strong and almost angry in a way to communicate the message of Asians and the hate that they're currently facing. If you read the news, you would know. Um, so maybe they wanted to convey that a little bit because Mulan is like, she's like, I am Asian, I am proud, I am strong, and we will not accept this hate, that kind of thing. That's the, the vibe that I got from how defiant she looks. But if you really put that messaging and thinking behind it, it becomes kind of powerful and inspirational and maybe especially for me because I'm Asian but if I think of it in that way the face starts to make sense I don't know maybe the actual messaging on the behalf of the designer may be not that deep maybe I'm just overthinking it but that's how I portrayed it in my head and that's how I'm kind of feeling this doll um, and it really suits her bold kind of she's bold she's so graceful looking but she's also fierce so that's the, the takeaway that I had from it. Because, you know, even if we go back to the core of this whole line of the designer series, it's about the Disney princesses going to like something like a Met Gala or, or, or like a party event kind of thing. And what do celebrities do? Celebrities sometimes use these red carpet opportunities to convey a message that they wanted to convey or to, to you know, or to make a statement with the, what they're wearing and how they look like, that whole thing. So maybe Mulan is going to this Met Gala like party to make a statement about Asia hate and you know standing up for the asian people okay so <clears throat> wait as i was filming it i i came across the, the the quote from the designer already so i will read it through uh, okay so the inspiration if danae could describe mulan in one word it would be fierce and it shows growing up and participating in sports, Danae always tried to emulate Mulan's strong will and perseverance. In this doll's design, she aimed to capture Mulan's endearing duality of beauty and strength. I think that's quite beautiful of how she pulled inspiration from. Um, but I still think there is a deeper meaning behind it that you could kind of interpret, I suppose, even if it's not written out there. But as an Asian person, I would like to interpret it that way. You know, um, not to say that I immediately thought of it, no. And I was even making jokes with my friends like, oh, she is she the matchmaker or <laughs> is she Shanyu in disguise and drag? You know, sort of stuff like that. But when I sat down and think of it, if there's a powerful message behind it, it, it makes sense. And it's quite inspirational in that way. So. That's my interpretation of it. So um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like her? Do you, are you going to get her? How do you feel about her face and expression? Do you kind of think the same in my own theory? Let me know in the comments down below. If I can, I think I'm going to go for her. As an Asian, I, I, I should 
have more Mulan dolls because the only Mulan doll I have right now is the 17 inch limited edition version right there and I would love to have more Mulan dolls so yeah that's it that's my thoughts thank you so much for watching again you can also check me out on Instagram at Creates for more photos and I will see you all soon in my next video